Now that we've got those pesky realistic predictions out of the way, it's time to have some fun. Let's do some wild card predictions. Absolutely bonkers ideas that would be pretty dang cool, but probably pretty unlikely. Well, let's be clear. I'm not about to suggest a new resort on the moon. I will suggest everything logical and possible, but I just don't expect them to actually happen, at least given the state of the world, the company, and priorities that they have right now. That being said, I want my thoughts out there, just in case I get one of them right. Let's kick this off with an idea I don't think anyone has really mentioned lately. Tangled is a wildly successful movie that kicked off the new art style of animation that has been used in hits like Frozen, Moana, and Encanto. The film has become a beloved classic right alongside the legendary Disney films before it, and has even gotten a really underrated Disney Channel cartoon series, you should check that one out. As you may have heard, Tokyo Disney Sea Park is getting a land inspired by Tangled soon, announced in 2021. It will feature the village of Corona and Rapunzel's iconic tower. There's also a ride coming to that land, which seems to be reminiscent of Pirates of the Caribbean or Frozen Ever After, basically a boat ride through scenes. So what do I think? I think we could get some more Tangled representation soon in Walt Disney World. What kind of representation? Another bathroom, of course! Let's go, baby! Tangled bathrooms in all four park, let's get it! But seriously, Tangled is inspired by a German fairy tale, so maybe we could get a Tangled attraction in none other than the Germany Pavilion at Epcot. You may or may not know that the current location of Biergarten, the German buffet in the Germany Pavilion, was actually supposed to be the load area for a boat ride called the Rhine River Cruise. This was partially constructed, but cancelled. The scrapped ride is located behind a mural in the restaurant. So do I think this could be revitalized into a tangled boat ride like the one at Tokyo Disney Sea? Probably not. I don't think they will make something that's essentially a Frozen Ever After clone right next to Frozen Ever After. Instead, I think the ride could be an entirely different ride system, maybe trackless, and go in the location of the model train set. This will allow for a much larger ride and more freedom to make something impressive and unique. As we say a lot here, Disney loves adding IP. In 2019, Bob Chapek said the goal of the Epcot refurbishment is to make it more timeless, more relevant, more family friendly, and more Disney. For this reason, I expect each pavilion to at least consider adding an attraction based on an existing IP that fits their setting and culture. But what do you think? Is a Tangled ride on the horizon? Let us know in the comments. Okay, let's get even crazier. In fact, this may be the second craziest idea in this video. Stay tuned for the end for my most insane prediction. As the title card suggested, Marvel and Walt Disney World. Yep, we got a Guardians ride, but I'm talking about the whole Avengers campus, the whole enchilada. But Andrew, how can they do that? Universal rights disputes! Well, I recall that same conversation back when people wanted Spider-Man in the MCU, or uh, Sora in Super Smash Bros. Things seem impossible until they actually happen. I am not a lawyer, and I don't really have any business experience, but I think deals can be cut that allows Universal to retain their Marvel Islands and Islands of Adventure, while allowing Disney to incorporate the Avengers in Walt Disney World Resort. I won't spend too much time on this since I couldn't possibly theorize how a deal like that goes down, but I will just say if it did come to pass, I would expect it to be in Hollywood Studios logically. If not, maybe a Wakanda land in a place like Dinorama, but I don't think one character should get an entire land. What do you think? That last one was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Let's take it down a bit, something a little more possible. Pandora The World of Avatar has been a massive success for Animal Kingdom. Fans flock to the land for its incredible immersive theming and top-notch rides. Flight of Passage is easily one of my favorite rides in Walt Disney World and the number one favorite for many guests. With this in mind, as well as the fact that four more Avatar movies are on the way, it seems obvious to me that Disney will look to expand the land. As of now, it is a bit tight and congested with winding paths that lead to the two attractions, which always have very high wait times. With new films coming out, I expect the brand to receive many new fans, which will make the land even more crowded. With an expansion, Disney can add a new region from Pandora, perhaps inspired by a location in the new movies, and incorporate one or two more attractions. I am a huge fan of the Avatar lands in Animal Kingdom and would really love to see more of it, but what do you think? Is it worth expanding this land? When Epcot opened on October 3rd, 1982, the World Showcase was incomplete. In fact, it had room for at least eight additional countries. 
Today, it has only added two lands since its opening, Morocco in 1984 and Norway in 1988. That means there is still room for at least six more countries. There were a number of planned countries since the opening of Epcot that has since been scrapped or postponed. In regards to the Soviet Union pavilion, don't hold your breath. But rumors have been around lately of a Brazil pavilion. These rumors have not really gone beyond rumors, but I certainly think it's a possibility. That being said, I think there's one other country that is more likely given the current state of the Walt Disney Company. Colombia. In case you've been living under a rock for the past year, Walt Disney Animation released a little movie called Encanto, which has been a smash hit, its album crossing even Frozen on the charts. The movie is an instant classic, the next Frozen for sure, it has taken the world by storm. Encanto is without a doubt coming to the Disney parks, and I think it should be through a Columbia pavilion. By adding Columbia to the World Showcase, you can incorporate real-world culture, food, and architecture to the pavilion as always, while baking in plenty of Encanto. There would have to be a ride, of course, which could be housed inside the Cosita. I would even make a one-to-one -one scale Cosita as the queue, full of interactive elements that bring the home to life. Out of all my wildcard predictions today, this is the one I can see happening the most. It just works so well, and I think Disney wants this to happen. But what do you think? Let's finish this off with a bang. Fifth Park. I'm not the first to theorize this, and I won't be the last. I think we predict this as a wildcard possibility every D23, but things seem a bit more plausible now that Universal announced a massive new park, Epic Universe, coming in 2025. Disney will need to come up with a way to combat this new land, which boasts attractions and lands based on immensely popular franchises such as Universal Monsters, How to Train Your Dragon, and, of course, Nintendo. To compete with this, many believe a fifth park is the only option. I think it is more likely that Disney beefs up the four parks it already has with new and exciting attractions as well as updates to the existing ones. That being said, a fifth park would surely turn heads in the most significant way. What would this fifth park even be? I honestly cannot venture a guess. Perhaps a full Pixar park, maybe one based on acquired companies such as Marvel, Star Wars, and Fox? I could also see it being an extension of Fantasyland and Magic Kingdom an entire park dedicated to the princesses and their lands. Elsa's Ice Castle could be the centerpiece, maybe? So let's recap. Tangled in Germany, Marvel in Walt Disney World, an expansion to Pandora the World of Avatar, a Columbia Pavilion in Epcot, and a fifth park. What do you think of my predictions? Are these possible? Do you like these ideas? Let me know in the comments. Also, what are some of your predictions and ideas for D23 announcements? I would love to hear them. Be sure to stick around the channel as we will be discussing the Disney Park announcements that come from D23, which is right around the corner. If you like this video, please drop us a like and subscribe for more Disney Parks theories and discussions. You can also ring the bell so you never miss a new video. You can also keep up with our content on our Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for D23 2022.